Pokemon's Team Rocket are some of the most iconic villains in anime, mostly due to the popularity of the Pokemon video game franchise. However, Jesse, James, and Meowth, at least the personified version we see in the TV show, didn't exist before the premiere of the Pokemon anime. The Team Rocket present in the original Pokemon games were portrayed as identical grunts and acted like generic thugs, while their leader Giovanni runs the organization like a mafia boss. When the Pokemon anime entered production, it was up to the TV staff to turn Team Rocket into recognizable villains who would follow the protagonist from location to location, plotting against them in each episode. And so, the TV staff decided to base them off the villains of the 1975 anime, Time Boken. Time Boken anime was produced by Tatsunoko and created by Hiroshi Sasagawa. The series follows a boy named Tanpei and a girl named Junko, who use a time machine to travel through time in search of Junko's father, Dr. Kiyata, who disappeared while testing the machine. After a test run, the machine returns without Dr. Kiyata, but instead contains a talking parrot and a gem called a Dynamond. Tanpei and Junko take the Dynamond with them on their journey through time, as it's one of the few clues they have to finding the missing doctor. However, the villains of the series, the Gaikotsu, or Time Skeletons, want the Dynamond as it's incredibly valuable and powerful. Time Boken ran for 61 episodes, but was followed up with several spin-offs that ran into the mid-80s. These spin-offs were set in their own universe and featured new protagonists and themes, but the villains were always the same. They'd have different names, and their designs would change slightly to fit the motif of the series, but they retained their personalities and voice actors. The characters were designed by Final Fantasy artist Yoshitaka Amano and were incredibly popular due to their over-the-top evil antics that always ended up backfiring on them. These antics were inspired by the Hanna-Barbera cartoon Wacky Races, where the villain Dick Dastardly would use his inventions to try and sabotage and trick the other racers. Dastardly's appearance and penchant for building contraptions that backfire were used specifically to create Time Boken's Grocky, as well as his succeeding counterparts. The 1993 Time Boken OVA pays tribute to this influence, with an episode that has all the evil trios competing in a race, with each team trying to sabotage one another. The evil trio were so popular among Japanese youths, Pokemon wasn't even the first show to mimic them. Emperor Pilaf's gang from Dragon Ball and Grandis' gang in Nadia's Secret of the Blue Water also took influence from the Time Boken series. A common issue that occurs when writers borrow too heavily from a previous work is that under new circumstances, character motivations don't always make as much sense as they did previously. Of all the shows that drew from Time Boken, Pokemon suffers from this the most. In all the series I mentioned, the villains always had a clear reason to chase the protagonist, usually to steal a rare gem. The Time Skeletons are after the Dynamond, Pilaf wants the Dragon Balls, and the Blue Water in Nadia's title is a rare jewel. But in Pokemon, Team Rocket is just after Ash's Pikachu. From a writing perspective, it makes sense, since Pikachu is the mascot, he'll always be in the show, and thus Team Rocket would always have a reason to chase Ash. But, as the series goes on, Ash's Pikachu doesn't seem very special. Pikachu isn't a Pokemon that's known for being exceptionally powerful or exceptionally rare in the Pokemon universe. In the early episodes of the show, they do mention that Ash's Pikachu is stronger than a regular Pikachu, but its power is nowhere close to being considered the Pokemon universe equivalent of summoning Shenron. The first time Boken spin-off was called Yotterman, and it made some changes to the evil trio's dynamic, which we'd see incorporated into Pokemon. In Yotterman, the villains are called the Dorombo Gang, and instead of the Dynamond, they're searching for artifacts called Dokuro Stones. In this series, the trio work for Dokurobe, a mysterious leader who's rarely ever seen and only exists to tell the trio where to find the next Dokuro Stone and punish them for failing. Dokurobe seems to be the inspiration for the anime's portrayal of Giovanni, as his mobster persona seen in the games was absent from the TV show. Unlike the trio's objective, one aspect from Time Boken that Pokemon executes well is the evil trio's song. In Time Boken, it's a common occurrence for the evil trio to sing a song about how great and evil they are. This derives from one of the trio's key inspirations, the villain seen in the movie Babes in Toyland. Babes in Toyland features a villain named Barnaby, who has two henchmen, a skinny one and a fat one, named Gonzorgo and Rodrigo. In the 1961 version of the film, Barnaby and his henchmen sing a song about their genius evil schemes in a manner very similar to Time Boken. We enjoy committing mayhem for a monetary gain. 
and we specialize in crimes which are completely inhumane. Now we're on our way to steal some sheep and drown a boy at sea. And then directly we'll collect a very handsome fee. Ho, eh, ho, ho, eh, ho, ho, no, ho. Ole, ta, 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 kuni. Dare ni mo makere. Wasakuro kie. Suki na kota, suki na kota, wari kota. And here's the dubbed version. We're so good at getting people mad. Unlike most of the other works that mimic the evil trio, Pokemon retains this idea, but switches out the song with Team Rocket reciting their motto. Prepare for trouble! Yes, and make it double! To protect the world from devastation! To unite all peoples within our nation! To denounce the evils of truth and love! To extend our reach to the stars above! The other Disney film that inspired Time Boken's trio was 101 Dalmatians, which also came out in 1961. In that film, the villain Cuella de Vil also has two henchmen named Horace and Jasper, who fit the bill as the skinny and fat bumbling lackeys. What 101 Dalmatians did that was unique was making the mastermind of the group a woman, and Time Boken's Marjo is often depicted smoking a pipe as an homage to Cuella's long cigarette. In creating James, Pokemon anime writer Takeshi Shudo looked away from the Time Boken series and instead looked towards the anime Go Shogun, which he was previously a writer on. Go Shogun also had an evil trio, but it was the villain Leonardo Medici Bundle, who appears as a long-haired dandy holding a rose, that Shudo would take influence from. As the series went on, similarities between the two characters became less apparent. But in early episodes of Pokemon, James is often seen holding a rose and was far more concerned about his appearance. A wanted poster. How flattering. Flattering? This picture makes me look terrible. The third Time Boken series was called Zenderman, and it introduced a new villain to follow the evil trio. Niara Volta was a talking pink cat, named for actor John Travolta, who funded the evil trio with Koban coins. A Koban coin is actually the same type of coin seen on Meowth's forehead. This comes from a Japanese idiom, Neko ni Koban, or to give something of value to someone who doesn't understand its worth. Niara Volta was the first instance of a new trope introduced in the Time Boken series, the inclusion of a tag-along villain. The tag-along villains wouldn't reuse designs like the main trio, but rather new ones were added with each series to give later teams a more unique dynamic. Later Pokemon gags like James Victory Bell trying to eat him when it's sent into battle, and Jesse's Wobbuffet popping out of its Pokeball serve a similar purpose. Over 20 years have passed since the premiere of the Pokemon anime, and the series is still going strong to this day. Likewise, the most recent Time Boken series, Time Boken 24, premiered in 2016 and ran for two 24-episode seasons, both of which earned excellent TV ratings in Japan. This series brings us a new iteration of the evil trio, including one of the few instances of a female member of the trio not sporting blonde hair. Instead, the villain Bimajo has a much more unique appearance. On the other hand, something about her seems very familiar.